Today's lecture is on the celiac trunk. Now, we know that the celiac trunk is a branch off of the descending aorta in the abdominal cavity. Now, as we can see on this diagram, the celiac trunk has a wide variety of branches that come off of it. The three main branches of the celiac trunk are shown in green here, the common hepatic, the left gastric, and the splenic. We'll start here with the left gastric. The left gastric branch branches off the celiac trunk and has its duration around the lesser curvature of the stomach. It also has its own branch, the esophageal branch, which goes all the way up towards the esophagus. Following the splenic artery off of the celiac trunk, it has a tortuous duration where it reaches the spleen, and it has the short gastric branches which supply the fundus of the stomach, the splenic branches which supply the spleen itself, and also the left gastroepiploic branches which do the greater curvature of the stomach. Coming over to the common hepatic branch, it has quite a variety of branching here. The common hepatic comes up and branches into the right and the left hepatic branches, as well as the cystic branch or cystic artery. On its course there, it has a right gastric branch, which completes the lesser curvature of the stomach and anastomosis with the left gastric branch. Also. Another branch from the common hepatic is the gastroduodenal branch, which has three branches of its own, which consists of the anterior superior pancreaticoduodenal branch, the posterior superior pancreaticoduodenal branch, as well as the right gastroepiploic branch, which completes the vasculature on the greater curvature of the stomach and anastomosis with the left gastroepiploic branch from the splenic artery. And this is the celiac trunk.